Sarah, I haven't said any bad words. Well, I know that, Ted. This is a precautionary measure. You see, dear, if I wash your mouth out with soap now, then all the words that come out of it later will be nice and clean, too, won't they? Not one. Not one. Good boy. You know, in the future, when kids use bad words, they'll get their mouth washed out with soap. Well, I guess I'm sure whatever soap will be. Getting your mouth washed out with it can't be any worse than getting your mouth washed out with no! oh! Oh, dirty stones. Get the stone age, Ted, when you hit your back. Oh, oh. Not funny. Oh, I ain't going for me any miss you. This is ridiculous. Why can't we go in the house? Because my mother is coming to visit us for Christmas, and I've spent days cleaning that house. It is now spotless from top to bottom, and it's going to stay that way until my mother's had a chance to see it. Ah, uh, but Valerie... A real holiday. What do you say? My bad cousin is bored. Amias, I can't understand a word you're saying. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, my nose is clogged. Your nose, your nose is clogged. Ah, yeah, we'll get to the teeth in a moment then. Oh. Here, hold still. Watch out now. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, get in here! Oh, come on. What is this? Get up! You guys cannot introduce the show like that, all messed up. <laughs> oh, well, it's a good thing we got Stephanie. Because she is a nice girl, she's always neat and clean and well-groomed. Oh, Stephanie! Yeah? Come on, get up here. Now, Stephanie... Wait a minute. What is this? Uh, Ross, I didn't think I was supposed to be in the first link, so I didn't get ready. How, how did you kids get so filthy dirty? Ross, you told us to go out and play for five minutes. I know, but that five minutes, how did you get so dirty? What, what did you do? Nothing, Ross. We just played a little. But this show is about cleanliness. Ross, as you say, we're just kids. Just kids. <laughs> You are, boys. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you have a nice swim in the lake? <laughs> we thought you said you had gotten the pollution cleaned up. So it's filthy. It's disgusting. Wait a minute now. We are, we are cleaning up that lake. Every time you swimmers go into that lake, you come out covered in this gunk. And a lot more of it is swallowed. <laughs> we'll have that lake cleaned up in no time. <laughs> I'm in bed already. You don't even have to yell at me. Oh, get out of the bed. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? Is this an office? You usually yell at me to get into bed. I just washed these sheets this afternoon. I know, Mom. Thanks. Clean sheets are great. No, you don't understand. If you get into the bed, they won't stay clean. They'll get all dirty. So what do you want me to do, Mom? Sleep under the bed? Yeah. That's a very good idea, Tim. Why don't you sleep under the bed? Now hurry up and get under there. It's late. Mom, what about the monster under the bed? It might eat me. Good point. The monster under the bed. No, the monster under the bed can sleep in the bed. Yo, monster. Come on, dear. Ah! You see, he's much cleaner than you, and he won't dirty the sheets. Under the bed, Ted. Now, little monster, don't you worry. The nasty Ted under the bed won't eat you. All right? Nighty night. Good night, you two. Ready, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the execution. What is it this time? Well, I just washed my hair this morning, oh. right? And I wouldn't want it to dry in rat tails. Mm. I wouldn't want it to get all yucky. And then mm. tomorrow when I go to everybody's laughing. See, see, see. see. <laughs> no problem, senorita. You may borrow my hair dryer. <laughs> Venus, you could have killed us both. I said hair dryer. Dryer. Not fire. 
fire. So it's a great then, Miss Prever. I'll clean all your windows for um that's good. Yes, well, all right, Annie. I'm certainly sure that Ted isn't going to do it, that good-for-nothing son of mine. You make sure you do a good job. Okay. <laughs> hey, Annie, this has business. Oh, it's great. Your mom's paid me 25 bucks to do all your windows. Yeah, and your mom has paid me 25 bucks to do your windows. Sure beats cleaning our own windows for nothing. Yeah. Ross. What? Ross. What? Why are we all wearing these stupid sissy sailor suits? We're on TV and we look ridiculous. Right, you look ridiculous. Doesn't matter whether you're wearing those nice, clean, white sailor suits or not, you still look ridiculous. And you're gonna stay like that. And by the way, that leather jacket is uh, coming off. You see, Madge Wildermeyer, the lady from the Senate Committee for Cleaner TV, is coming any moment now. Well, the sailor suits are bad enough. But the makeup people, when they wash me, I thought they were going to scrub off all my skin. Oh, big deal. It still hurts. Wait a minute. Me too, Ross. They really hurt me. What? You're filthy dirty. How come? I ordered you to be cleaned up, too. Wardrobe, makeup. Oh, I'm Ted. Oh, Will yeah. you hold still stop. and stop competition to me? You've got to lose two pounds of weight before tonight when you fight in your division. I figure I can get two pounds of dirt off you in no time. Oh, I'll just hold stop still. Oh, hey, Paul, that's one way to uh, get that uh, cruddy, filthy, dirty little kid actor cleaned up. <laughs> uh -huh. So, Christopher, understand you said you wanted a shower. Uh, yeah, buddy, if you're running on the spot for two hours, you need a shower, too. Okay. I think you have got the right idea, because if you've been exercising and you're sweating, then you certainly deserve a shower. How's this? Satisfactory? It's just fine. Don't do that. Hold still. There. There is. I hope that you're pleased with what I've done. I know your mother will be. She tells me you hate brushing your teeth. And when you do, you fill the sink full of gobs of toothpaste, smear it on the mirror, and she has to clean it up. But, Doc, where are my teeth? I told you, I removed them all, and now you don't have to bother brushing your teeth. And your mother doesn't have to clean up all that mess of toothpaste anymore. <laughs> Fine. What are you doing? Oh, me? Oh, I was just cleaning the furniture for you. Well, isn't that nice? You know, speaking of cleaning, Chris, I just did your laundry. And I bet you're curious to know that I used the heavy-duty cycle in the wash. Thank you. You're welcome. And while I was doing your clothes, I decided to do all your dirty magazines as well. Unfortunately, I used the heavy-duty cycle on them, too. And, oh, gosh, darn, Chris, they've turned to pulp. <laughs> We're losers. We don't win games. And we're in last place. But most important, Coach, you forgot to wash our uniforms again. Look, we can't play in them. There's mold growing all over them. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right, Ted. Those uniforms have been fermenting in them lockers for so long. Uh, uh, yeah. Just occurred to me. I'll bet you if I blew this whistle, those uniforms would get up and play the game for us. Come on, boys, go. Come on. No. Give it up. Give it up, Chris. Now listen to me. This is dirty. It does not fit the new clean image of the show. Way to go, Dean. Burn it. Dean, burn it. Burn it. Breathe. Just like I caught you. What's the matter with you? What? If you make me wear the stupid sissy sandal shoe, I'm gonna wear it. I do know what I'll do. What? And so do you. What? I'm gonna say, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> you stupid idiots! That slime was for me. <laughs> we want, we want it. 
These guys are amazing. Well, <laughs> hold still, oh. Chet. Oh. Honestly, young man, if you won't clean out your ears yourself, I have to do it for you. Well, that looks clean enough. Oh, yep, nice and clean all the way through. And you know, Ted, there's a ton of stuff in there. I'm ashamed of you. All of this rubbery, gray, sticky stuff. Mom! Mom, that's my brain you took out! Oh, Ted, stop fussing. Even if this oh. is your brain, you won't miss it. You never used it anyway. <laughs> oh, Annie, how many times have I told you not to bring that filthy creature into my kitchen? Sorry, Mr. Cropper. I uh, guess Mom doesn't want you in her kitchen. No, Emmy, it's not the dog. The dog is perfectly clean. The dog can stay. It's him. It's Ted. Get out of here right now. Yeah. Get out. Out, 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 out. Uh, you know, uh, Valerie, I can't believe how much better it is since we found the right place in this car for that dog. Oh, I know that. It was terrible after all those trips having to clean all those brown and yellow stains off the back seat. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. But, Dad, this isn't fair. What if the dog has to sit on the seat and we have to be stuck in these scrunched up things back here? It's not fair. Banana gets to sit there because he doesn't spill soda pop and he doesn't rub his snot under the seat and he doesn't relieve really himself every ten minutes. Hey, boy, good dog, yeah. Dad? Can we at least come into the restaurant with you yeah. guys and leave Banana with a can of alcohol? Forget it. Forget it. He's got better table manners than both of you put together. Another thing, he's better looking. I think Banana has a lot of appeal. <laughs> Reading dirty magazines today? No. No, Mom, look, it's just dirt bike riding. That's a all. likely story. Then how do you account for all those dirt on your fingers? <laughs> oh, Mom, I just dropped the magazine in the mud. Of course you did. Look at it. It's disgusting. It's filthy and it's covered in dirt, and I won't have you reading it. I want you to read a nice, clean magazine like this one. Here, Sex and Beauty. Uh -huh. Read that. Oh, oh but, Mom. This is a dirty magazine. Oh, it isn't, Chris. It's nice and clean. Look, it's all covered in plastic, you see? Oh, oh I didn't even see that. Right. Oh, it's covered in plastic. <laughs> By some miracle, we seem to have gotten you guys all clean and shiny and bright and into those lovely sissy sailor suits. They're not sissy. Ah, now, wait a minute now. Your faces and your hands and your knees all scrubbed clean, so I want everybody to stay just like that. You can rely on us, Ross. We love oh, to be clean. Yes. And we love wearing these sissy sailor suits, Ross, because they make us look ever so cute. Don't you think so, guys? Yeah. I, can't I can't wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to high school in this place. Can I come with you? Hold it. Wait a minute. You like being clean, and you like wearing these sissy sailor suits. Got sissy, Ross. That's it. It's got to be the introduction to the opposite. <laughs> know what today is? No? Well, I'll tell you. It's lice check day. <laughs> All right. Calm down, please. Please. I, I'm going to make my rounds, and I first want a show of hands. Who does not have head lice already? Oh, please, sir. Good, well, thank you for doing your job. Oh, Stephanie, sir. I'll write Ted here first. Now, you do not have head lice? Oh, sir. Good. Here we are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fresh, hungry oh, head lice. Oh, oh, yeah, There's lots right. for everybody. Oh, They're edible. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Val, there's nothing like somebody puking in the car to give it a nice atmosphere. That's right, dear. But thanks to you boys, your father and I have had to sit through this entire trip without even a whiff of that wonderful vomit smell. Now try harder. You know, I don't understand it, Val. We must have given those kids, I don't know, ten, maybe... Twelve bottles of soda pop and uh, about ten Barth burgers. Nothing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to stick a finger down each throat. Oh, good idea. That'll do it. Give me the wheel. Give me first, then. Uh, <laughs> 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 right. Ross, now that the opposites are over, I can't wait. Because you know what we're going to say? All of us, while we're wearing these stupid mm -hmm. sissy sailor suits, mm -hmm. can you guess, Ross? 
I don't care. I don't care. We got all kinds of those stupid sissy sailor suits. And another thing, you reckon we take them out of your face. Hey, Mom. Yes, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. The teacher says I have head rocks. Oh, my goodness. What are head rocks, Ted? I think they're like head lice. Except you get them inside you. Now, that sounds very serious. I'd better have a look. Let me see. Oh, I can see it now. You can see the rocks, Jill? Where? No, I can see the light. Oh. Well, Ted, I think the entire place in there is empty and dark, just like usual. Oh, good. <laughs> well, what I think the teacher meant was that Ted has rocks in his head. Oh! You know, Ted, my teacher used to say that about me all the time. I wonder what it means. I wonder. Please let me be adopted. Oh, well, all right, dear. Did you have a family in mind? Hey, Chris. What? Do you ever read anything dirty? Yes, every day. So does my father. We read the newspaper and it turns our hands black. Hey, Ted. Yes, Stephanie. Did your mom wash your mouth out with soap for using dirty words? Does she ever? I must have the cleanest mouth of any kid alive. For Christmas, they gave me a box of chocolates with soap fillings. <laughs> hey, Jill. Yes, I'm yes. Do you say dirty words? No, usually I just give people dirty looks. <laughs> hey, Chris. What? What do you want, Ted? What? Is your room clean or dirty? Half and half. The half that you can see is clean. The half under the bed, in the closet, and under the rug, that's dirty. I don't like to be seen in public with this one. <laughs> hey, Ann, Ann. Yes, Dad. Does your mom worry about your underwear being clean? No, she worries about it being dirty. <laughs> I had to, Amias. You asked me to clean them, so I put them in the washing machine. I couldn't very well put you in with them, so I had to remove them all. Should be in the rinse cycle pretty... There we are. Yes, I put it in with my uh, dirty socks and uh, oh. underwear. Hey, Barb, Wilfie didn't do his job properly. Look, he hardly licked my plate clean at all. Oh, yeah. Wilfie? Who's Wilfie? Well, Jill, Wilfie's the dog who cleans Barb's dishes for her by licking them. Oh, gross, I think I'm going to throw up. Yeah, I'm sorry, kids, but uh, Wilfie's off sick today. You know, I don't understand that because he was always such a uh, healthy dog until he took the job here. And now he's off sick a lot. In fact, the special sauce on those burgers you're eating, that's from Wilfie. Oh, sick. Dog, you! Oh, Ted, if you insist on sleeping with that mangy old teddy bear, then I insist he's got to be washed. Sorry, Mom, Teddy doesn't like to be washed. What is that supposed to mean? How could you know that? He's just a bear. Well, I know because when anyone tries to, he puts up one heck of a fight. See what? Here you filthy thing. Come on. Come here. Congratulations, Teddy. <laughs> now let's help me scrub him. Hold <laughs> it. Look, if I can spot something as obvious as an eyelash, you obviously haven't done your job. Excuse now, me, I'm... excuse me. Yeah? Uh, Mr. Ewich, uh -huh. Madge Wildemeyer oh. from the Senate Committee to Clean Up Television. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to have you. Apple slices? <laughs> Well, you know, obviously, you have not done a very good job here cleaning up. What do you mean? What are you talking about? When we asked you to clean up this show, what yeah. we meant was we wanted someone on the television show to clean up the television screen, something only a person on the show could actually do. I'll show you. Now, look here. There, now, you see that? You see all the dirt that came off that? My goodness, I'll bet all those good folks at home are seeing a cleaner, kinder, gentler show now. Oh, I'm so sorry, little girl. <laughs> My job as a teacher is to send you out into that cold, cruel world with clean and healthy minds. For that reason, I brought in this washing machine. I am going to clean your minds. Oh, 
Sir, hmm? don't be stupid. You can't put our brain into a washing machine. I thought there might be a problem there, Chris. So I also brought in a chainsaw. <laughs> up against the post and under that shower. <laughs> Why do I have to stand under a shower? It's part of our new cleanliness policy. Why your cleanliness policy? You know those guys that come around and pick up our dead bodies? Yeah. Well, they're complaining. They say our victims are always dirty and smelly, too much for their standards, so they refuse to cart those bodies away. So what's your point? My point is that you have got to stand under that shower so we can wash you up and get you all nice and clean. <laughs> Look, buddy, it's going to take a lot more than some water to get me clean anyway. <laughs> well, amigos, <laughs> I guess that uh, should do it. Uh, hey, kid, uh, now you're all clean and shiny bright. Great. Amigos. Ready, aim! Now, children, little boys and girls, when Mr. Ross Ewich here, Ross Ewich, yep. oh, my Lord, told me how hard you all worked to clean up this place before I came, well, I just had to thank you. You see, all I wanted to do was to get on this television show so I could clean it. So, thank you, children. I don't know how I would have done it with... That on television has been a deep down dirt production. <laughs> well, Paul, at least I have no dark, dirty secrets to hide. <laughs> oh, does that mean your underwear is clean? Does it, young man? It's my mother. You're doing it over on the air. Don't do that. Dad. What? Can you uh, just hold that open? Yeah. Hurry, please. What? Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold. The car <laughs> is leaking. Hello. Where, where, where's that? Where, where's it coming from? It, it's coming from my window and the window in the black. Close the Close the window! Uh, no, Dad. You see, you said that if you washed yeah. the outside of the car, yeah. then when we get home, yeah. I'd have to wash the inside of the car. Yeah. I'm going out with my friends, Dad. I'm going out with my friends. So I thought I'd just save myself some time. <laughs> Good idea, eh? Mother, uh, uh. Oh. oh, no! This shameful! Not from teachers say you have head lice! Oh. Neighbors will think I keep dirty cave! Oh. No butts! Got to get rid of lice! Oh. 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 